Hello and welcome to the second section in which we will be introducing the PyQt5 Designer tool. QT Designer is a fantastic tool that lets us design our Python GUIs in a visual fashion similar to Microsoft Visual Studio but for Python. In order to use QT Designer we first have to install the PyQt5 tools. We will then run the QT Designer and design our first GUI with it. Next we will add widgets to our GUI using the designer. After that we will arrange our widgets. And finally we will convert the Qt Designer UI code to Python code. In this first video we will install the PyQt5 tools. We have already installed PyQt5 but many tools including the Qt Designer are not included in the standard installation of PyQt5. We will see the folder into which the PyQt tools got installed and then we will run the Qt Designer. This is what our site packages folder currently looks like. We have the PyQt5 folder here. We can find the tools on PyPy, the Python package index website. This is package index PyQt5-tools. We can install them using pip. The command is pip install pyqt5-tools. So we did not need to download the wheel from the pypy index. We can simply run the pip command and it will find the matching wheel to install the pyqt5 tools. So we can see here downloading pyqt5 tools, uh, versions 5.9 etc. for python 3.6. So this, this whole long name is which ends with dot whl is a wheel installer. So we're installing the PyQt5 tools. So it's completed, it's 100% done. After installing the PyQt5 tools, we have a new folder, PyQt5-tools. Within this new folder, we can see that many tools get installed, including our Qt designer. The file name is designer.exe and this is the executable we want to run. You probably want to create a shortcut to it. Double clicking the executable opens up the designer. First time it might take a little bit. Okay. By default we are presented with this dialog that lets us create different windows and different widgets. Let's for now accept the default, which is a main window, and we just click Create. On the left hand side, we have a widget box. Below it are many different widgets we can use, and they are organized by category. We can collapse them, and we can expand them again, and we can use the filter box to search for specific widgets. So when we type in a name, for example, button, we can see all the widgets that have button in its name. In order to clear the search filter, we just click on the X. On the right hand side, we have the object inspector, which shows us the different objects. And below it, we have the property editor. The property editor shows the properties for the object we have selected in the object inspector. So for example, for our main window, these are the properties and they are also grouped by, by widget class. So we can expand them and collapse them here. When we change the widget, when we select Q widget instead of Q main window, we select this class, we get different properties being displayed because this is a different object. So what's being displayed in the property editor, the properties down here are for the specific widget we highlight. So the same thing is we can collapse and expand the different categories and we can also search for them. For example, when we type in win, it shows us the properties that start with win for window, for example. And this is, these belong to the QWidget object. So when we collapse that, we can see by clearing it that QMain window doesn't have a win in it. 
it only has those eight properties. But QWidget, which is also part of our project, it has, let's type it again, win. So the QWidget object has a window title, for example. So the main window, which we can see here, is the window title. And this is actually belonging, it's a property of QWidget. It's not a property of QMain window. In fact, QMain window inherits from QWidget. From QWidget. That's why we see window title under QWidget. In the center of the developer designer, of the QT designer is um, the main area where we develop and design our GUI using the designer. So for example, we can drag any of the widgets we have onto the designer and it gets added to the GUI. Can position it anywhere. We can see here the name by default is push button. The class is Q push button. And when we collapse Q widget, we can see that this object um, has the abstract button class and push button class from which it inherits. When we change this back to main window, we can see that the main window doesn't have anything to do with buttons, just contains some buttons. So this is um, the object inspector. And this is uh, the property editor that shows us which which properties are available for each of those objects. As we have seen, the designer comes with a lot of features. We will use the designer's features in the following videos. In this video, we installed the PyQt5 tools that include the Qt designer.